Welcome to your final challenge. Four maps full of commons, tight alleys, and RNG. With a hell run at the end. I'm plus nine attack and let's get you this achievement. First map is easy, a short run to ease you into a false sense of security. There's a hefty amount of commons, so be mindful of your corners. Now, for the first RNG of this campaign. This door might be sealed, and if that's the case, the Yelp path is just down the street and into the alleyway. After making my way through the back of the restaurant, I decided to rush into the safe room, which resulted in me taking unnecessary damage, but I'm still above 50, so I'm practically at 100. Now, the real campaign begins. If you played the parish before, you know what this map has in store. There's a lot of pickups in the safe room, so don't forget to use them. I toss two pipe bombs and head on my way. Once getting to the park area, I get a lucky boomer bile spawn right near the bathroom at the start. There is a tier 2 weapon in the center area where the horse is, and some supplies in the gazebo on the left and near the bathrooms on the right at the end of the park area. After leaving the park and right before entering the alleyway, there's some medkits, so heal up because the crescendo event is a tough one. After leaving the alley, there's quite a bit of common, so be careful. But if you didn't get a tier 2 weapon you wanted from the park, there's some weapons on this barrier as well as right in this little doorway. Once getting to the Sita holding area thing, there's a medkit and some adrenaline. You're gonna need it. Get your adrenaline out and ready. Open the door and once you make it out, use the adrenaline. Then get your boomer bile ready. If you don't have a boomer bile, <laughs> I wish you luck. Hold on to that boomer bile. Once you run around the first bend, you should see commons. Get as close as possible and then toss that shit towards the Cedo holding area thing. This should maximize your boomer bile time. We are shooting for the top of the scaffolding to hold out in. After turning off the alarm, I stay near the button. If you're crazy enough, once the door is open, you can hold out in that building or try to run towards the safe room. I hold out and luckily make it towards the safe room, where I murder my bots and make it in. Another great map, and going through the rest of the maps really makes you miss the first one. But nevertheless, we shall proceed. I take it slow and get to the entrance to the sewers. Be careful down here. Now there isn't a lot of commons down here, but there are a few, as well as specials like to fall down the ladder. Speaking of ladder, once you head up, you best have a melee weapon because this next area will haunt your dreams. The only good thing is, your bots will not activate the alarms. After my bots stare in amazement on my floating abilities, they decide to help, and like a god gamer I am, I love tap a car. Panic, then get Karma Charger. Making my way back, some skank decided to block my path. After she decides to go into her room to cry, I attempt the car park again. Lucky for me, I make it pass with relative ease. Then, I make it to the RNG Nightmare. This cemetery has multiple paths that are random, so I wish you luck. Oh hey, the surprise tanks are back! Here we go again, and after a rocky car park, the cemetery went well. And, like always, I kill my bots and make it into the safe room. Welcome to Tight Spaces the Map! There's a lot of commons right outside the safe area, but luckily, you can clear a lot of them out before leaving. I make my way along, and lucky for me, I get a decent tank spawn. I toss a Molotov and run until he dies. Now for the crescendo event. There's a Molotov on the scaffolding, so I grab one and hit the tractor. Now, I found out that the staircase is a great holding spot to hold out in. Just have your bots on the stairs and you looking down the walkway. And before long, the horde dies down and I get a move on. On my way, Rochelle decides it wouldn't be a still something to prove guide if she didn't die to a witch. And does a gamer maneuver. After her gracious send off, I take it slow, too slow in fact, and the director got tired of my shit and sent a horde at the worst possible time. I get pinced and die right near the safe room. After a normal crescendo event, running from a tank, then having a charger plus horde combo almost kill my team, I, say it with me, kill my bots and make it into the safe room. We're almost done. And with that, I will leave you with an unedited run of the bridge.
thank you for watching my videos, and I hope this helps you. See you next time. I'm